3,200. That was the number of single-family homes available on Cape Cod in 2012. Now, in January 2022, that number is just 300, according to the Cape and Islands Association of Realtors. Many are saying the pandemic has caused the record-breaking number of low houses both for sale and to rent. But professionals in the field say there are many factors at play. The pandemic didn't create a problem of housing inventory. We've had a housing inventory on Cape Cod for years because we have underproduced housing, right? So in a natural cycle, you need to produce housing at a certain level, usually about 2% a year. And... Um, to kind of handle the influx of people coming in. 10 years ago, we had over 3,000 homes for sale. Now we're under 300. And, and that is a startling thing because we're not producing any inventory. So anyone that wants to move here and buy a house is buying existing inventory that is taking things off the market and locking it up. But it also is a bigger national trend we can get further into of people staying in their house longer. We don't have enough of the right kind of inventory in order for people to be able to move through, depending on their life stage, their finances, uh, the situation that they're in, we don't have enough inventory for people to move through that. So it's created a lot of pressure uh, in the market, which has driven up prices. And like I said, driven out our year round locals. An overall population increase lack of newly constructed housing, and not enough year-round rental options are just some of the issues that contribute to a complex subject. What's happened is someone who owns a year-round rental is looking out at the, it's an investment, right? And they're looking out at the, the market and they're saying, oh, my house, this investment that I bought is at an all-time high. I should probably sell now so I can get that equity uh, gain of of this investment is just like any other investor would and um, take advantage of the market where, where the market is right now. They're selling at the in this market, this high in this market, and the people buying it are displacing those renters and they're either moving in themselves or they're moving in to use it seasonally and then they'll rent it seasonally as well to help you know cover the costs. So that kind of pressure in the market is what's driving up the costs and driving out the year round residents because they don't have another place to go. And so what we're seeing is people want to make Cape Cod home. The problem is what, what it's actually been happening is new year round Cape Codders that work remotely are driving out the year round existing Cape Codders. Housing experts see a change in zoning laws and an increase in housing production as the best possible solution. And our zoning bylaws now are are geared to build McMansions, are geared to build several, one house on several acres. That is the raw land cost. The development procedure drives up pricing. We need to reformat our zoning laws to allow for market rate middle income housing to be built if we want to try to um, allow the market to correct itself and build housing that can actually work for everyone. There's really no way to change the dynamic or to uh, change the, the trend unless we allow building of apartments and condos. Um, we, we really could absorb several hundred units in the next couple of years and bring several hundred units online and really see not a big dent in our, or increase in our, our um, vacancy rate. We have a website called um, housing to protect Cape Cod.org. People can go there, learn more information, get involved. Um, but we're really hoping to get people engaged, informed, and active in our community because that's what's going to make the difference. If the current state of housing on Cape Cod has you unsure of whether you can afford a house, there are still many options available to anyone in need. Yeah, I, I, one is working with a great agent, um, and not all agents are the same. There's agents that understand the process and can help you through it. Um, you know, finding the resources available, there's lots of good loan products out there to help you. And then with mortgage rates the way they are, even though prices are accelerating, payments are not as going up as greatly as prices are. 
because mortgage rates are staying so affordable. Focus on condos, try to find a condo because those are um, expensive, but they're a good point of entry into the market. Beyond that, I would say buy a duplex so you can rent out the other side. Better yet, buy a house where you can um, build an ADU easily. And then, you, you know, having the two sources of income, either through a duplex or through an ADU, is what's going to help make it more affordable. If you'd like to see more data and research regarding real estate on Cape Cod, visit ccaor.com or visit hacon.capecod.org. For Cape Media News, I'm Emily Tellick.